So as always, open the overhead panel, turn the battery on, put standby power to auto, and turn external power on. Now, on the IRS display right here, you want to put all three IRS switches to align, turn yaw dampers on, left and right hydraulic engine hydraulic pumps on, now on the electrical panel right here you want to turn APU generator on, bus tie switches on, left and right utility bus switches on and left and right generator control switches to on and we can start the APU and put the IRS switches to nav as they're finished aligning you can see right here run is blinking this means the APU is powering up and now run isn't blinking anymore so the APU is now powering the plane and the APU generator is on so we can turn external power off now we're going to turn emergency lights to armed Turn on the window heat, make sure ram air turbine is off, and passenger oxygen switch is extinguished. Now we're going to choose the engine starter, so you can choose any of them. We're going to choose one. Make sure engine ignitions are on auto fuel pumps off, cross feed off, anti-ice off, wipers off, passenger signs to auto, set landing altitude which is zero feet for us. Now on the bleed air panel I'm going to turn left and right engine bleed air on, APU bleed air on, and isolation valve on. Now we can set trim air to on, left and right recirculation fans on, and set packs to auto. Now we're going to turn or leave all lights off as it's daytime. We don't need any interior lights. Now open the CDU. Click on position initialization. We're going to enter our reference airport. KDEN for Denver. Click on route. Origin airport. KDEN. Destination airport is Newark K E W R Click on activate performance initialization or zero fuel weight is one hundred and fifteen thousand pounds Oops. reserves. I'm going to enter 10. Cruising altitude is 37,000 feet. Cost index, we'll, we'll just enter 80. So now click on execute. Go back to route. Click on next page. Uh, before that, we're just going to select our SID, so click on Departure Arrival, Departure for KDEN. And the SID we'll be flying is Plane 4. Our transition point 
will be MCK and and we'll be taking off runway 35 left so now we're the route page click on next page and we're going to enter our flight plan first waypoint is LNK and the airway between MCK and LNK is J44 next waypoint is IOW Now click on activate, execute, go to the legs page, and we want to check that there's no route discontinuity line, and there's none. So now we're, we're going to press on initialization reference, and we're going to enter the takeoff flap configuration, which will be 20 degrees. CG right here we're going to enter 3, 4 and it's going to give us our trim settings so I always enter 3, 4 and it should be fine so now click on V1, V rotate, V2 to select our takeoff speeds and you see right here it says pre-flight complete so we're done with the FMC for now now we're going to configure the MCP so I'm going to turn flight director on make sure it says take off right here uh, our first altitude is 8500 feet Runway heading three five zero degrees. Now we're going to set our altitude. Q and H is two nine nine or two, and it is set to two nine nine or two. We are now going to open the overhead panel. Go to the hydraulic panel and we're going to turn right electric pump switch on turn C2 C1 and C2 electric pump switches on and turn left electric pump switch on now we're going to turn all fuel pumps on and red anti-collision light switch on I turn both packs off and enter our trim settings let's open the pedestal and look right here we want to enter 4 and that's about 4 Okay, so now we're ready to start the engines.